shooting government secret service men of the old west, working undercover on dangerous special assignments, courageous, resourceful fighters for law and order. The Cowboy G-Men in The Sidewinder, starring Russell Hayden as Pat Gallagher and Jackie Coogan as Tony Crockett. It's a story of a manhunt, a pursuit to the death after a treacherous killer who had scourged the Southwest. It began routinely enough in a little military prison, Fort Yucca, Arizona Territory, 1878. I'll certainly be glad to get rid of you. Lieutenant Jennings reporting to Major Taylor for orders, sir. Morning, Lieutenant. The prisoner is ready. Yes, sir. Here are your orders. You'll deliver the sidewinder to government agents Gallagher and Crockett at Apache Forts. That's right on the territory border, isn't it, sir? Yes. Once Gallagher and Crockett take over, the Army's rid of him once and for all. He'll be a civilian responsibility. You sound relieved, sir. I am. I haven't slept a night since that killer's been here. He's as treacherous as a rattlesnake, and he's twice as fast. So that's why they call him the sidewinder. Yes. How hard to detail are you taking? Just Prince and myself. Only a dog? Prince and I can handle him, sir. I don't like to tell a man how to do his job, but report to me the moment you get back and don't make a false move. This man's tricky. Yes, sir. Come on, Prince. <laughs> Yeah, a little, Stoney. Lieutenant was supposed to meet us here with a sidewinder at noon. A sidewinder? Is he really tough? Supposed to have killed six men. He knifed two guards when he broke out of a federal prison with three bullet holes in him. That answers the question. Yeah. The Army picked him up in Indian Territory after he started a one-man war. You know, you think that a fellow that was that bad would be good just once to break the monotony. Stoney is a philosopher. You'd make a better government agent. character like this sidewinder, we better not take any chances. You're right. Stoney, I think we ought to ride down the trail and meet the lieutenant. It's a good idea. Thanks for the uniform, soldier boy. It'll be a cinch to get me out of the country. The prisoner shot me in the arm. Well, can you ride all right? Yeah, I guess so. You feel well enough to talk? Yeah. You're Gallagher and Crockett, aren't you? That's right. We got worried about you and rode out to meet you. 
Don't blame me. He's a tough customer. Did he get away? Sure, I couldn't help it. Fell off his horse, and when I went back to help him, I, he jumped me. I shot him, but he managed to get the gun somehow and put a bullet in my arm and rode off. Was he hurt bad? I think he was. Stoney, you stay here with the lieutenant. He didn't come up this way, so I'll ride back and see if I can't pick up his trail. All right, good luck, Pat. Thanks. With a man like that, I may need it. As I rode down the trail, I thought over what had happened. The lieutenant's story was simple enough. The prisoner jumped him and escaped. But somehow there was something wrong. Something I couldn't put my finger on. I just reached the water hole when I heard a sound, like an animal in pain, whimpering. And then I saw it. What's the matter, fella? How come an army dog like you are so familiar with an ex-convict? You know, you could be court-martialed for this. Come on, fella. The lieutenant's bullet killed the sidewinder. Yes, it was simple. But what about the dog? An army dog like Prince just doesn't take to prisoners. I had to get to Fort Yucca to find out why. back near a water hole. Tried to get away and Lieutenant Jennings had to kill him. What? Where is Jennings? Oh, he's all right. He's with my partner. Got a bullet hole in his arm. I warned him about the sidewinder. If he'd just listened to me. Excuse me, sir. What is it, Sergeant Talbot? A body outside. It isn't the sidewinder. It's Lieutenant Jennings. What? Are you sure, Sergeant? Of course. I was wondering why that dog was whining. Prince and Jennings were pretty close friends. My partner's up the trail with a sidewinder, and he thinks he's Lieutenant Jennings. Well, then he's in a spot. He certainly is, Major. You mind if I take the dog with me? No, and I'll send Sergeant Talbot with you, too. That won't be necessary. This is Army territory, and it's our responsibility to see that the prisoner is brought back. All right, have it your way, Major, but do it fast. Sergeant. Yes, sir. Get him out and go with Mr. Gallagher. Yes, sir. He's our best NCO. He'll be a lot of help. Good. I wish you luck. You're going to need it. Thanks, Major. As we rode on, I briefed Sergeant Talbot on what had happened. The sidewinder had certainly lived up to his reputation. Handcuffed and without a gun, he managed to kill the lieutenant, switch clothes with him, and then fool Stoney and me. Yeah, he'd fooled all but one of us. And all this time, Stoney was in worse danger than sleeping on a time bomb. Yeah, that's funny. What's funny? You were shot in the arm, but there's no bullet hole in the sleeve. The hole's in the chest.
spider. Yes, we know that. Oh, I'm all asleep. The blood's still wet. This just happened. That means he's not too far away. Mm. Could be. Well, he's going to be in no shape to travel. Yeah. I could ride to the port and get a detail. No, by the time you did that, Sergeant, he'd be clear across the border. But you stay here with my partner. Take good care of him. If anything happens to him, we're going to hold you responsible. Uh, I'll go after the sideliner. Alone? I'll take Chris with me. But look, when he comes to, he's a very stubborn man. He'll try to follow me. Keep uh, him here, understand? All right, I'll keep an eye on you. Good luck to you, Gallagher. Bye. Take it easy, partner. Where'd you go, Prince? Can you go? Can you track him, huh? Can you? Go. So the manhunt began. Through this desolate country, I wouldn't have had a chance in a million of trailing the sidewinder, except for Prince. But the dog seemed as anxious to get him as I was. Thank you, my child. Mighty good apple. Or Oregon apple. Well, Grandpa? Well, what, Nina? You know what, coarse gold child is. When do we leave? Leave? You said as soon as we had 200 ounces, we'd go home to Oregon and buy that apple orchard. Oh, but Nina, just yesterday I saw a new streak of color in the pocket. <laughs> it looks like we struck another rich vein. Now, Grandpa. But Nina, it's sure to be a new ledge. And you think what we can do with another 100 ounces. No, you don't. First it was 100 ounces, then just another 50. But this time we're going, and don't give me any more back talk. Oh, but Nina. I've had all I can take of this life. Now finish your coffee. Oh, women, how are you going to live with them? Nice 
smelled uh, coffee cooking. Couldn't spare an extra cup, could you? Oh, I guess we would, Lieutenant. Sit down. <laughs> Fetch him some, Nina. Thanks. I've been on a long ride. You had anything to eat today, soldier? Well, as a matter of fact, I haven't. <laughs> well, my granddaughter whips up a mighty mean plate of victuals. Let him try some, <laughs> Nina. Uh, tastes good, Mr. Uh... Uh, uh, Childers. Coarse gold Childers. And this is my granddaughter, Nina. Uh, my name's Jones. Anything else, Lieutenant Jones? Well, not right now, I guess. This looks good. <laughs> Didn't I tell you she could cook? <laughs> and the way the sidewinder was circling to throw us off the track, only the keen nose of Prince kept us on the trail. It was a good meal. <laughs> any more coffee, Lieutenant? Well, I don't think I want any more coffee, honey. Sure, then I guess that's about all we got to offer you. It's one other little thing. Yeah, sure, what's that? 200 ounces of coarse gold. 200 what? 200 ounces of coarse gold. I was listening to you through the window. You're a crazy soldier. Oh, I bet he's no soldier. Well, I know something. I'll bet you're right. Do I get that gold or do I have to use this? Go ahead. That's my last take and I never get another chance. I used to soon you shoot me. I wouldn't bother with you. You're too old anyhow. But your granddaughter, she's just starting life. I'd hate to have to kill her, but... Uh... Oh, no, no, no. I, I get the gold. Grandpa, he's just bluffing. Think so? There's a dozen dead men to argue that point with you. Oh, no, he ain't bluffing. Get it, get it. Open it. Hurry up, hurry up. Uh, make a nice steak for a man across the border. He's going to buy an apple orchard in Oregon. Oh, I don't like apples. I should have listened to you, Nina. If he had only pulled out before. You didn't know, Grandpa. You make a nice companion for a man across the border, and you can cook, too. How about a little kid? Huh? Stop it! Oh. You're not going to do it. Here with Zipper. I'll stay. Sidewinder's living up to his reputation, all right. Sidewinder? So that's who it was. Yes. I want you to take this note to my partner, Stony Crockett. He's down the trail about two hours ride from here to the ranger station. He'll help you. You're going after the Sidewinder? Yes, I've got to. Well, thanks for everything. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.
Prince and I headed into the Zappalotti Valley, trailing the Sidewinder. A valley of death, not a living thing to be seen. I'm sure the Sidewinder was suffering with heat and thirst as much as I was. the heat was getting him. Instead of heading for the border, he was traveling in a big circle that would bring him back to almost where we started. Good work, Pat. Come on. Let's get out of here. Move out. How do you feel, Mr. Childers? Oh, I feel much better, thank you. And Nina, I think we go back to Oregon and raise the maples. Oh, Mr. Gallagher, we want to thank you for everything you did for us. I want to thank you, too. It's all right. How's the sidewinder, Stoney? It's all right, Pat. Take it easy. Good. Oh, let me at him. We'll take care of him. Oh, I'm sorry, Pat. That's the first time it ever happened, but I was talking when I should have been looking. Go on, Stoney. Let me get out of Nina. I want to get out of you Nina. You stay right there, Grandpa. Feet down by now. Yeah. Strange things, Tony. What? 
way things happen. That's the way he tried to kill me. He was a real tough hombre. He asked for it and he got it. He sure was. Funny how things happen. Well, let's get back to the cabin. <laughs> 